<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, in case you wanted to go walk the beach last night, I promised you well. Let's go in the morning. If you wait till morning, I'll go with you. I want to go too. So, here we are. About to do some chunking. We got a north wind blowing this morning. Should have brought some balloons, but I forgot. Anyway, so we're going to bring the, the Conflix and the McCain rods down and throw some spoons and some gulp and see what happens. Well, we're back at the beach, folks. Let's see what we can find. All right, so we've been here maybe five minutes. And we noticed that the tide is far out. We need to check the tide, never do. I'm throwing a gulp on a three quarter ounce jig head and swimming mullet. Tide's way out. It's a long cast to get past the breakers because the tide's so far out. There's nothing, no birds working or anything, no bait on the beach. So we're thinking about maybe trying a different beach. We're gonna change locations. Let's see what's happening down in Perdido. All right, folks, I, I just came in off the beach. I ran into PJ here. He's about to do some uh, paddleboarding, huh? Yeah. And he was telling me he was out there and he saw some reds hitting some, some minnows. Just about 100 yards off the beach, not quite, right between the, right on the sandbar. About a third of the way out the pier yeah. on the uh, west side. Okay. Big old group of minnows and the redfish are just tearing them up. How, when was that? Uh, yesterday, about 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? Yep. So yep. three quarters of the way out? No, to the, of the quarter, pier, a quarter of the way out the pier. Okay, yeah. so that'd be like the second gut. Yeah, yeah, right about yeah. The second gut. Nice. Y'all doing some paddleboarding today? Yeah, ain't no waves left, but we still gonna get wet. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I appreciate it, PJ. Take care. Now. All right, bud. So we changed venues. We are now in Perdido Key, Alabama border. It's about five miles that way, the Florabama. Pensacola, about 18, 20 miles that way. I don't know if y'all can see it out there, but there's a frenzy going on. I could see fish flying out the water, man. Too far for the GoPro probably, about 100 yards out. I wish I had my kayak. This extremely low tide, we don't know what to expect. Water's way out, but we can see lots of activity. If these fish will just move in a little bit closer. Chinook! I'm gonna let this roll because when the wave comes, it makes like a magnifying glass and you can see the sand trout right in the wave. See if y'all can see it. See him? Right, we see some birds busting out there, so we're gonna try to walk to it. We could actually see the birds working about two or 300 yards down the beach, so we ran to this spot where the sandbar is and then we started walking out. <laughs> Get to another sandbar. Well, look at the birds working, man. Right there. There we go. Now we're talking business. All right, light them up. A little further out than they look. Yeah, some are being close. They're working right there. Isn't it? Huh? Come on, get you one. And they're blowing up here, here, way down there. They're just, look, they're coming out the water right here. Look, look, look.
combat fishing. <laughs> Got his little booty. Woo! What do you call that spoon, Tracy? That is the Johnson Splinter. Oh, that's a Johnson Splinter. You sure. Yeah. Johnson Splinter, that's what that's it called. It says right there on it. We got his little butt. There's a bunch of them out there. What's it say on there? Johnson Splinter. And that's a Spanish mackerel. Combat fishing in the soft zone. All wet, got a wet booty. close. Yeah, yeah right there. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good job, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spanish on the surf. Oh, I think he got off. Yeah. Oh, they're still there. Yeah. Look, they're right in front of you. Nice. Right on them. You're right on them. There you go. There you go. Good job. That's pretty. They only got to be 12 inches in Florida. Those two guys would have ate. We did it! We paid the cost. We got wet and we found the fish. That spoon cast a country mile, y'all. There's two. Yeah, he's hooked real good. Should have brought the pliers. Off he goes. Bringing some sharks with all that Spanish. No. <laughs> gotcha. A little bit of a gear run down here. What were we throwing? Well, to we'll start off with the rods, we were throwing um, the new McCain kayak series, the line cutter kayak series. This is a seven foot rod, which we like the length, at least seven feet for throwing the beach because it gives you a little more fling. We're throwing our favorite bang for the buck reel, the pin conflict in a 3000. A 4000 might even be a little better. I like somewhere between a three and a four walk on the beach because we, we're making far casts. We're throwing 20 pound spider wire braid, spider wire stealth, I think it's called, in the yellow. We started off throwing some gulp. At Pensacola Beach, I was throwing the swimming mullet. When we got to Perdido Key, started seeing Spanish blowing up close in, so we immediately switched to spoons. We came prepared with the with the shutter spoon, the Johnson shutter. It was a little too big for the bait that they were smashing. We went to the three quarter ounce Johnson splinter. I guess we just felt like we needed a little more reach, a little more weight. We have trouble with the rods. We're always setting them in the sand. You cannot get any sand on a rod or on a reel. It'll destroy them. So we're leaning them against the tripod and it's knocking the camera over and stuff. So when I saw these, I said, let's put these on a bucket. Now we got rod holders any kind of way we need them. Plus we have storage for stuff that will not get sand on it. So the bucket worked out really well. A good dry tube, any kind of dry tube is great, especially with backpack for walking the beach because when you throw it down the sand, the sand comes right off. You can, if you get it wet with the surf, it comes right off, no big deal. We were throwing Pro Spec fluorocarbon this morning, 25 pound. That, that was our leader. I like fluorocarbon when there's toothy fish around like Spanish because it's a little tougher than mono and it's much clearer for these gin clear waters. That's that. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Right, they're back in close again. Teresa's fixing to make the cast. We got a bunch of them over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're blowing up like crazy out there. Can y'all see that? They're gonna come in. Holy smokes, big school. Even throwing at these smaller Spanish is a good idea. Because a lot of times there'll be big jacks 
and kings and stuff following, Benita following with them. <laughs> Got you that time. One more cast? One last cast. One last cast. Oh, have that one. That's a little bigger fish, honey. Yeah. yeah. Got him in the head. Yeah. One last cast. <laughs> nice. Yeah, buddy. There you go. One last cast. All we've done. <laughs> See if you can do it again, Teresa. Catch one more with one more last cast. One more last. <laughs> oh yeah. That was a long cast. Come on, girl. Come on. You can... Oh no, you did not. No, you did not. There's not even a frenzy out there. Friends and she's hanging them. Woohoo! Nope, there's those surfaces now. You rascal. Look at this chick. Yeah. Another one. Man, we should have we should have a backpack cooler. Them all legal. They're gonna be 12 inches, I think. From, you know, three, four hundred yards down that way. We saw the birds working closer to shore, so we ran down the beach, paid off. And like I was just saying, we started way down there by those big condos. We parked down there. We saw the blow-ups, so we ran two, three hundred yards this way to set up, walk out to that sandbar, and start throwing at those busting Spanish. Man, I'm sure I really do love walking the beach, don't you? I love it, really enjoy it. I love being at the beach, and I love it when fish are blowing up. If you like seeing us walk the beach and throw on the beach, make sure you comment below and let us know. Keep your underwear wet, keep them rods a-flinging. I'm Ty. I'm Teresa. Signing off from Perdido Key, Florida. Thanks a lot for watching 30 Miles Out. We'll catch y'all next time. What? Say something like completely random. Random? Did y'all know Ty's a little girl? <laughs> Sorry, that's probably not good for the show. Bula bula.